Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to Hello Monday. Today we've pushed the video to Wednesday so that we can help Emily Lapart celebrate her 100th video on her blog. Such an awesome accomplishment. We're playing along with a lot of talented stampers today. And I'm going to be working with the Kudataki Gansai Tambi 36 color watercolor set. And these are so creamy. They're absolutely yummy. And I'm so glad this came to live at my house. <laughs> So I'm loading up just a regular watercolor brush with some water and then going ahead and mixing up the color there right directly on um, the watercolor pan. And then I'm just going to start spreading it onto a pre-made A5 or A2 card that I made from some marshmallow basil 110 pound weight cardstock. But you could also use the smooth bristle that I love so much. And I'm just adding a little bit darker shade there to kind of give some more variegation of color, but it's a really pretty jade green. And I was too impatient to let it air dry, so I grabbed the heat gun and just started to heat set it. And then I wanted some splatter, so I'm gonna protect the back side of the card there and then bring that palette right back in there and grab some black. And I added less water to the brush this time because I wanted a really deep saturated black. And then this is the point at which I realized I had to stop because I was gonna to get too heavy handed, so I had to stop right there and then go ahead and heat set it one more time. And then because I was too impatient to, you know, let it dry and put it between a book, I just went and sandwiched it between some clean paper and ironed it flat so I could keep on going. Now you're getting a sneak preview here as I prep the layout of a sentiment from a great stamp set that's coming out February 23rd. And I'm just kind of pre-planning the layout here. I'm just gonna prep the surface with an anti-static pouch because I wanna do some heat embossing. So just a little bit of pre-planning and forethought here on the design. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that uh, diamond die cut right back. That is from a limited edition set that we released back in November 2014. And it's coming back, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to put that into place so I know exactly where I want to stamp that sentiment. I'm going to ink up with some VersaFine because I want to clear emboss that. So we'll get that stamped into place. And look, I have to kind of really concentrate when I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't mess up my layout. So we'll remove the die cut and then pour some Hero Arts Ultra um, fine grind clear embossing powder over the top of that. It sticks really nicely to the VersaFine ink and I love the deep saturated black you get with VersaFine um, Onyx Black. And then I'm going to take that die cut and go ahead and tap it against a Versamark pad to get it coated with some sticky ink and then apply more of that ultra fine clear embossing powder. And this is going to give it a really nice high gloss effect. Almost looks like those really cool enamel stickers that you often see that have that really cool shiny effect. And then in hindsight, I probably should have attached it to the post-it note first, but this was to keep my fingers from getting burned because I can't really hold that whole die cut there with my tweezers. So I'm just gonna put it there temporarily onto the post-it note, heat it up, and then it's ready to mount onto my card front. And to make this a little bit easier, I just took some multi-matte medium and spread that onto a post-it note temporarily, the same one that I used to um, hold it while I was heat embossing it. And then I'm just going to use a pin. I've seen Debbie Hughes do this and I'm like, oh, so clever. And just put some dots of that glue right there onto the back of my die cut. And that micro pour tape was so I could hang on to it and then lay it down onto my card front without smearing any of the glue. And then I like to take some wax paper and go over the top and burnish it down. And that way, if any of the glue squidges out, like Debbie likes to say, I just think that is such a fun word. I'm totally stealing that from Debbie Hughes. <laughs> And then remove the tape and there you go. It's uh, planted firmly on there. And then just for one final embellishment, I'm just gonna add some blobs of Stickles Gold Glitter Glue. I love the way this looks. It's a great way to embellish a card, quick and easy, but then you do have to let it set aside and dry. So I'm just gonna randomly add those for some extra embellishment and then the card is pretty much finished. And here you can see the high gloss effect of that um, clear embossing powder. So keep your eyes peeled for these brand new stamps and dies coming to the Essentials by Ellen Line, February 23rd. And Emily, congratulations on a fantastic milestone. Thanks for watching.